Samuel just couldn't stop thinking about Saul and how God had rejected him from being king over Israel. Finally, God said, Samuel, stop brooding about Saul. Go get some oil and go to Bethlehem, to the house of Jesse, and anoint one of his sons king of Israel. Samuel said, Lord, if Saul finds out about that, he will have me killed. Take a calf with you to, to, to Bethlehem and tell people that you're going there to, to sacrifice the Lord. Invite Jesse and his sons to join you there, and then I will show you which one to anoint king of Israel. So Samuel went to Bethlehem and invited Jesse and his sons to come sacrifice to the Lord. When they walked in the door, Samuel was impressed with Jesse's oldest son. He said, my, he would make a good king. God said, Samuel, don't look at outward appearance, how tall a person is or how strong. I can see things that you can't see, and he is not the one. Jesse introduced his second son to Samuel, but again, he wasn't the one. He introduced all seven of his sons that was there to Samuel. And each time the Lord said, he's not the one. Finally, Samuel said, are these all your sons? Well, uh, no, I, I have one more. I, he's my youngest and he's out in the fields watching the sheep. Samuel said, bring him here. I'll not have a meal with you until I see all your sons. As soon as David walked in the door, Samuel could see that he was a striking young man, healthy and handsome. God said, he's the one. So Samuel anointed David, king of Israel. Immediately, the Spirit of God left King Saul and came upon David. Saul became depressed. and He was known for his depression from that day on. His servant said, one thing that could help that is if we could find someone who could play the harp. And every time you get depressed, uh, it'll, the, the harp music will be soothing to you. When Saul agreed to this, one of the servants says, I know of a young man who's very skilled at the harp. He's, he's the son of Jesse from Bethlehem. Uh, not only can he play the harp, but he's a good fighter. And he's very good at talking in front of people. So they sent for, for David. Soon as he walked in the room, Saul was impressed with him made him his armor bearer. But in the days he was oppressed, David played the harp for Saul and the music soothed his troubled spirits. <laughs>